Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to VKS on our YouTube channel. Uh, we're taking a look at the new Shockwave from Greenicles. This is the new 2024 model. We have here the 300, the 4 star, the 5 star, the players and the pro performance. We'll look at these bats in a little bit more detail, run you through the specs, the, uh, the look, the weighting, the ping test, uh, and everything that goes with these uh, new models. Let's take a look now. So in terms of the graphics, you've got the traditional Grey Nichols look with the, uh, the red stickers, the black and white checker, which is what they're running with with this particular model. Some nice shockwave detailing here. You can just see a nice simple sticker. This, is, this particular one is the, uh, the 300, finest handcrafted English willow, as you can just see there. This color scheme means it's the, uh, the Generation 2.0. It's a little bit confusing because uh, some people think that refers to the grading, but it's actually the color of the bat. Uh, they do run them sometimes in different uh, colors. We've got the Pro Performance at the end. So just a little uh, mention of the model uh, just on the top is what differentiates uh, these bats one from the other. Otherwise, uh, the stickers are identical and exactly the same. You can just see here, if I just show you on the 300, that's what's different uh, on the next one along. That's where you've got the, uh, the four star look. In terms of the graphics to the back of the bat, you've got the handcrafted sticker at the bottom, some nice uh, lightning effect uh, decals just to the back here. As you can see, you've got the Shockwave 2.0 emblem and then the traditional Grey Nichols in red and white with the, uh, the black and white checker. All of these bats come with a tow guard fitted as stand, as you can just see there. And that's the, uh, the look of the toe. You've got a semi-square toe, just from the back angle, and that's from the front there. So slightly rounded off at the bottom, uh, but still a nice, aggressive look. I can just show you from there. A nice, aggressive look as you come up. A nice, pronounced spine. So the grip here, although it's in black, uh, is the same design that they're using on the uh, the Tempesta. I like to call it uh, the pill, the, uh, the pill design. Um, very well shaped grip, it has a nice feel to it. Uh, it's something that's new and exclusive at the moment to Grey Nichols. I'm sure we'll see uh, other generic grips jumping onto the bandwagon of this um, as it does look really good and it does function very well as well. It feels good on the bat. As we mentioned before, these bats have a uh, pronounced spine. Uh, there's no concaving because you can just see here. The swell position is a, a mid to high swell position, which means they have a nice light pickup, a beautiful feather light pickup. Um, when we do the ping test, you'll see that they ping well both low down and higher up as well. So it's not just that the, uh, the swell is higher up and therefore uh, the bat only performs um, higher up on the blade. So we'll just show you exactly what we mean just now. Uh, so just looking at the, uh, the shockwave from the side angle, uh, you can just see that you've got the full bow to the blade, some nice thick edges. Uh, as we mentioned before, the very pronounced steep spine, zero concaving, the slightly uh, squared off toe to the bottom, uh, the toe guard fitted as standard, just there. So this particular one here is a pro performance with a natural finish. Uh, we'll just run you through uh, these bats. Now put some on the scales uh, to show you uh, what sort of weights are coming through. So in, uh, in terms of bat weights, the first one we have here is the, uh, the 300. This is uh, coming in at 2.98, and as we mentioned a few times before, uh, Grey Nichols bats tend to, uh, tend to weigh, sorry, tend to feel uh, about an ounce to an ounce and a half lighter than their scale weight. So this is the first one, the 300. Uh, next up, we will take a look at the four star. Uh, this particular four star, uh, not showing up properly. We'll just try that again, showing up, uh, sorry, I, mis I misread that myself incorrectly. Uh, so yeah, so that's coming in at 210.1. Uh, this is the uh, the four star. 
the next one we're going to have a look at will be a five star this one is coming in at 2.88 we then have the top of the range pro performance and this one weighs 2.97 so you can see the weights vary, you know, between, you know, say the upper two eights, uh, the lower two tens, and this is very typical of what's coming through on the, the shock wave. The Tempesta, I would say, are probably coming in as a little bit heavier, um, but scale weight is not so important. It's more down to the way in which the bats feel and the pickup. My apologies, this particular one is a play, it's not the pro performance. We still have the pro performance to come. Uh, and that's coming through now if we can just put that one on the scales and the top of the range pro performance is coming in at 2.91 uh, so again within that uh, variation we were talking about uh, the 288 sorry yeah the late 28s uh, to the very early 210s um, if you want something a little bit different uh, 27 I think is going to be difficult this year um, but if you want something 210 and a half to 11 to 12 uh, we can always uh, get one in for you uh, next up, we'll uh, do the mallet test. Right, so for the mallet test, I'm just going to test the bat, you know, coming from the bottom, come, we'll come up uh, towards higher up on the blade and we'll go across as well as we normally do. So it pings all the way down to the bottom. And easily if you come up, it still feels nice. There going to get that dead sound and then you start to feel it there so that's the mallet test on this uh, shockwave uh, players for you as we come towards the end of this video uh, we still have a few things to look at um, I just wanted to show you the Tempesta and the shockwave side by side uh, both 2024 models you can see the grip at the top uh, is the same on both of them, just a color difference. Uh, I'll call it again the pill design uh, grip. Uh, as you can just see, when you're looking from, from the front, very, very similar. Uh, the Tempesta's got the perfectly square toe and the, uh, the shock wave slightly rounded off at the bottom, as you can just see there. Uh, beautiful finishing on the both of them, as you would expect uh, from Grainicles. Uh, the Grainicles logo to the side. The graphics, very, very similar to the top where you've got the black and white, but on the Tempesta, just a slight metallic blue touch, whereas on the Shockwave, you've got the silver. Uh, the uh, the Grainicles logo, as always, uh, will be in the red and white, uh, and then the same shape uh, sticker on both of them, just with the Tempesta in the, uh, the yellow colorway and the Shockwave in the black and white. In respect to the back of the bat, again, uh, the theme behind uh, both of the stickers, the way in which they're laid out is very, very similar. Obviously, uh, the different colorways for both of them and a slight variation in the way in which the graphics look. Um, hopefully, this shows you the overall profile of the bat, uh, the way in which it's shaped, uh, the, uh, the balance point. You can just see on the, uh, the Tempesta, it's just that fraction uh, a bit higher but they both ping really well, um, and I wouldn't be overly concerned with thinking one is uh, a mid-sweet spot, uh, another one is a little bit lower, they both ping really well all over the blade. So this has been the video review for the 2024 Shockwave. I hope this video has uh, shown you this bat in detail and uh, you've seen exactly what you wanted to. I'd like to thank you for watching. Do subscribe, do like, uh, leave us some comments. We're always grateful for you watching. As we come to the end of 2023, I'd like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, and uh, look forward to serving you all soon. Thank you for watching.